Hello guys, welcome again to another video of Driving TV. I wanted to share with you guys these tips for new drivers out there that I'm sure it will be of great benefit. So let's get started. Which way to turn the steering wheel when reversing? To steer the car in reverse, turn the wheel in the direction you want the rear of the car to go. Turning the wheel to the right steers the back of the car to the right. Turning the wheel to the left steers the back of the vehicle to the left. Basically the same applies when driving forward. Since it's more difficult to maintain steering control and vehicle balance when the vehicle is in reverse, always back up slowly. How to know if the front wheels are straight? So every car has a logo on their steering wheel, and while sitting in your seat, which is the driving seat, if you can see the logo on your steering wheel straight, most likely the wheels are straight. But you always have to double check. Now, how do we do this? First of all, make sure that you straighten the steering wheel. Once this is done, go ahead and move the vehicle forward a little bit. And if we go in a straight line, it means the wheels are straight. If the car leans to the left, go ahead and turn the steering wheel one full turn to the right, and that should do the trick. If the car moves to the right, turn the steering wheel one full turn to the left, and the wheels should be straight by now. How to exit a parking space. This is a very common mistake. When you start backing up between two cars, don't turn the steering wheel right away. If you do this, you will most likely hit one of the cars next to you. Always start backing up on a straight line and turn the wheels to the desired side only when your front bumper clears the back bumpers of the other two vehicles. The closer the cars next to you are, the more you want to back up. What does the rear view mirror switch do? Outer mirrors provide essential visibility to the rear and sides of a vehicle. However, they can also be a source of discomfort when being blinded by the glare of headlights behind you through your rear view mirror. That's no fun and it reduces your safety on the road. Thankfully, it's very simple to adjust the mirror by using the switch at the bottom of the rear view mirror. If you have a manual rear view mirror, there's a switch or tab at the bottom. It should move up and down. Changing the switch position changes the way the mirror works. Flip it one way and you're in a daytime driving mode, with everything crisp and clear. Flip it the other way and it changes to nighttime driving mode. The reflection is dimmer and harder to see when it's light outside, but it's meant for nighttime driving and dims the glare from headlights behind you. The fuel gauge arrow. A few months ago, I learned about one of the best kept secrets in the automobile world called the fuel gauge arrow. Have you ever rented or bought a car and had that oh crap moment when you pulled in the gas station and can't figure out on which side of the car the gas tank is on? At this point, you can either stick your head out of the window to locate the gas tank or just pick a side and cross your fingers. If only there were a reminder to always know which side the tank was in every car. Guess what? The solution is right under our nose. 
Most older cars and almost every new car sold comes equipped with an arrow on the gas gauge that indicates whether the tank is on the right or on the left side of the car. Don't drive in someone else's blind spot. This is a very common mistake we all tend to do unconsciously. Always try to avoid this at all times if possible. The same way you have your own blind spots, other cars do as well. You should move forward or drop back so that the other driver can see you. How to adjust your driver's seat. Driver's seat adjustment. Seat tilt. One aspect that is often overlooked when adjusting the driver's seat is the tilt of the seat. Proper adjustment increases the ergonomics of your driving posture and makes things a lot more comfortable. Raise your seat height so you can see clearly over the wheel, dash, and hood. Move the seat track until you have a comfortable bend at the knee. Adjust the top of the headrest so it's in line with the top of your ears. How to adjust your mirrors properly. We're going to show you how to adjust the rear view and side view mirrors on your car, truck, or SUV. Those mirrors are pretty important. They're the best way to know what's happening behind you in traffic. Some vehicles will have motorized adjusters for your side view mirrors, while some will have manual toggles you can use to get them just right. Depending on your vehicle, the use of these controls will vary slightly. When and how they should be adjusted. First of all, always adjust your mirrors before you start driving, especially if you're changing vehicles constantly or driving a rental car. Trying to do it while you are already on the road is putting you and other drivers at risk. You want to adjust the three mirrors in a way that minimizes your blind spots. So before you do anything, try to position yourself in the driver's seat the way that you would be positioned if you're actually driving. Then manually adjust the rear view mirror on your windshield so that it is showing you as much as of the back window as possible. Now adjust the driver's side mirror until you can see the road or driveway behind you at the bottom of the mirror and the side of the vehicle is barely visible on the right hand side of the mirror. Having your vehicle at the edge of the reflection will give you a steady point of reference for what you're seeing in the mirror relative to your vehicle. The passenger side mirror typically allows you to see a little more than the driver's side mirror does, which is why objects are closer than they appear. So adjust it until the back bumper or lower corner of your vehicle is in the bottom left hand corner of the mirror. And that is it. If at any point when you start driving, you find that any minor adjustments are needed, wait until you have stopped for a moment and then you can do your fine tuning. Safety comes first, so do not try doing any adjustments while you're driving. Remember, keep your eyes open and always on the road. And with that being said, that is all I got for you guys today. I truly hope that this video was indeed helpful for you guys. And if that's the case, please don't forget to drop a thumbs up on this video. Leave a comment below with any thoughts or feedback. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for other upcoming videos. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Good luck. Music